We saw Vernon taking first team reps. Can you tell us what's going to happen on Saturday? Yeah, he's going to start and play this week. Yeah. How much? All of it. Yeah, he's going to be he's going to be our guy. When you look at his numbers, he's only thrown seven passes in the last eight games. That's half of your season. Yeah. What's taken so long to see that, and how important is it to get him more action? Yeah, we want to we want to get him in there and see how it goes. See if we can get a change a change of energy that that type of thing. So also he's obviously a very good player. So we want to get him in there and see how he goes. I guess best case scenario is it, is it goes very well, but then what does your decision come playoff time as to who will start in the playoffs? Yeah, the, the statement from the very beginning was we want to use both these guys to the. Um, we got two starting quarterbacks, so we want to use them to the best of the ability. And um, you know, if, if Vernon changes it up and we got a good good energy going and stuff, then we'll roll, we'll roll with whatever gives us the best chance in the playoffs. How did Nathan handle it? Those guys, uh, those guys are both role models in my book. The just ultimate team guys. Um, I think Nathan, it's more a matter of circumstance. I don't think our football team's problem is our quarterback position. Um, I think it's our whole football team, offense, defense, and special teams not playing well enough, and coaches too. So I don't think it's a quarterback issue, but I think it's a circumstance where we're we're looking to to change things up a bit. And um, we got two guys that are starting quarterbacks, and um, we're going to do whatever it takes to to give ourselves the best chance. EA certainly ha has this room. So as you try to give the team a spark, how much of that is a factor? Just you know how much the guys rally around him. Yeah, they both, like I said, um, from the way I see it, um, both those guys have the respect of everybody, um, both really good players, and um, just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm personally excited to see VA play. I, I think it's going to be good, and, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Again, knowing that quarterbacking isn't the primary issue with this team, um, would you have still handled things differently in hindsight, right, knowing what you know now? In and terms of how you've used them since, since Nathan's arrived? I, I don't know, just trying to navigate it the best we can. I think Nathan, if you look at what what he did, which I said was amazing to me what he did about going through four football teams, and he was actually thrown into action because VA was hurt. I think if VA was not hurt and Nathan signs here, Nathan's not going to get thrown into the Winnipeg game right away. So Nathan, if you actually watch the film, um, he's doing a good job. Um, totally lucky to have both of them. Um, but I think just the circumstance we're in and the way our football team is playing right now, then uh, we're, we're, uh, we're making a change, but uh, I don't think it's a reflection on how Nathan's playing. Vernon put out a message on social media saying, you know, there is no real quarterback controversy, but I'm no. just wondering, Rick, they've both been very good, but how unique the situation is. Vernon was playing so well before he got hurt, and then, of course, Nathan becomes available, and we know what he did two seasons ago. As Farhan said, you know, it was Vernon's team just the situation how unique it was it's a, it, it's a unique situation that Nathan came back from the NFL halfway through the year um, I I still think it's a I, I love having them both here right now I think it's a good thing and uh, we'll see if it, it if it pays off here in the next few weeks that we had both of them both of them play very well um, like I said I think it's our, our it's our football team as a whole coaches, players, everybody, offense, defense, special teams that's not playing well enough. It's not a it's not a quarterback issue, in my opinion. Um, but sometimes a, a change or a spark or an energy can can help things out. But I was I was very clear with our guys that if you think Vernon's going to come in here and it's just going to suddenly change because of him, that's that's not going to happen. He, he he can be amazing and play really well. But all of us, including me, um, need to step up to the plate and, and do a better job as a whole football team. It's not one player that's just going to be Superman and save the day. Can one game save the season the way that you guys play on uh, on Saturday against Montreal sure. leading in the playoffs? Well, we're, we're a playoff team. So I, I view it as this should be the most exciting time of the year. Has the season gone the way we wanted it? No. But uh, anytime you are in the playoffs and got a chance to to, to go in there, then um, that, that's the name of the game. So for all the hard work everybody puts in and the sacrifices they make, this is the time of year that should be the, the most fun and the most exciting. And um, we're going we're gonna to go out there against Montreal and, 
and you know try to get going and get some momentum going. Rick, when you look at this type of situation with the dollars involved, these aren't just short-term decisions, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they can have potentially long-term ramifications. Um, did you talk to uh, Amar at all? Like, did he have any kind of, um, I don't want to say input, but just kind of get feedback in terms of what the thoughts are long-term around the quarterback decision? No, we, um, I can't say enough positive things about Amar and how supportive he is, but he's always going to leave those football decisions up to us. So um, we're, we're obviously always communicate and talk and do those things, but um, can't say enough about how supportive uh, he is. And I view both these guys as uh, – um, CFL franchise quarterbacks, and I think that's the way it's going to work out down the line. Um, but right now we're just focused on this season, like we said from the get-go, and trying to make 2024 the best it can. And it's uh, definitely not gone up written to plan, but uh, sometimes they don't, and sometimes you figure it out. So we'll see if we do that over the next couple of weeks. What can you do defensively? I mean, you know, we know there's a lot of struggles, so they put even more pressure on the quarterbacks. Yeah, we, again, that goes back to our whole football team playing better. And um, our defense has done some good stuff, not on a consistent enough basis, though. And I just want to make sure we got uh, 12 guys that are um, know exactly what they're doing, um, play fast and play physical and, uh, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Rick, I was very critical of you guys after the effort on, on Saturday on the air on Sunday. I said that Amar Doman deserves better, season ticket holders deserve better. Um, and that, you know, this team, I know you say you're a playoff football team, do you get the sense that they know they need to be better and, and there's a huh. lot at, at stake? That might be the problem is there. Um, um, they need to take a deep breath and just play good football. I, there's no zero, zero doubt about that people care, um, all that stuff. There's, there's nothing casual about any of this for anybody on this, in that locker room right there. Um, and so, uh, and I'm, I'm never going to apologize for anybody that chooses to play football or put themselves out there. I'm never going to talk about being embarrassed or letting people down and stuff. So I'm down, I'm down with the people that are willing to go lay it on the line and, and do a job that's public and, and that you can fail in front of everybody. So I'm, I'm down with people that roll like that. And um, I'm down with these guys. And I look forward to watching them play the rest of the year. Um, Katoy? What's the plan there? Hope, hope. It's been a it's been a process, but uh, maybe see him practicing tomorrow is the word I'm getting right now. But uh, we'll we'll see how it is tomorrow. We're gonna have two full practice days coming up, and really hoping that he uh, um, he can come back. But uh, we'll we'll see if he's out there tomorrow. Thanks, Rick. Thanks.